Hi everyone, this is Anne and this is my video about the sexualization of children in our society. What do you think about following objects? It's underwear for girls for 5, 6 or 7 years old saying spank me, bite me, who needs credit cards? I mean, what, who are the parents buying this for their children? And how are people coming up with the idea of making these things for little girls? What's the thought behind it? Because I really don't get it. And it's probably just about money. If you look at our society, from a young age, children see these images of women who are sexualized, who are acting in sort of uh, sexy ways or, or trying to be attractive. And this is everywhere. And it has a big influence on the mind of girls. But also on boys, of course, who um, see this image and then have this idea about what a girl or a woman should be and, and often look for this perfect, perfect woman who doesn't really exist. So from a young age, this is promoted to girls because as they grow older, they will judge themselves more harshly on their appearance, buy all kinds of things to enhance themselves, try to enhance themselves in order to feel better about themselves. Um, which supports consumerism because we all age we are all going to age and I mean if we live in such a harsh environment where women are looked upon in that way it can be a serious problem for the well-being of women because they have this image about who they should look who they should be what they should look like and when that falls away when you base yourself worth so much on that then there's nothing left and you feel bad about yourself so there is this, um, you also see this sometimes even promoted by um, mothers with, with the child pageants and, and how they dress their child with heavy makeup and this hair in a very adult way and then teach the little girls these sexy dance moves often, how to walk in a sexy way. And they do this sexy walk and, and they do all these kind of sexy poses that you think, why is a child doing that? And dressing them up as a stripper almost. Um, and that's fucked up. So there is this quote from a pope, um, he said, uh, it's, the problem with pornography is not that they chose too much, but it chose too little. And this can also be applied to this problem, where it shows where a being is forced into a direction to be a certain way. For example, to be a, a perfect girl, a perfect woman, be pretty, which and, and, and be sexualized, and that inhibits the development of other skills of intelligence, of um, character, because it forces them into a box so much. So I think therefore it's important not to support stereotypes in your child, to not say, oh, she must be like a girl, act like a girl, wear pink stuff, have pink stuff, but to let your child explore and develop their skills and go for their interests and not say, you should be like that and to make sure they can come to you with their problems, with their questions because as they will see this in the media, for example, children ask questions, they will ask often questions about sex also as a young age when they are confronted with it that doesn't mean they are always thinking about it like an adult, they don't they have a curio curiosity for the world, for what's around them, for what they see so they ask questions, if you answer them, they will go play with something else I mean, that's, that's why it's important that they can communicate to you about everything that you do not judge and stigmatize it that you also educate yourself to be able to give a good response and to be able to support your child so they can develop themselves in a way that they can see through all these things in society because in our society more is known about women who look good than women who do good I mean, I don't think anyone can deny that when we know more about celebrities and those who look good, it's all over the news I mean, I can say for myself that that's probably true when I am looking for subjects online to blog about, to vlog about. I always come into contact with these things about celebrities and who's this and he lost weight, she lost weight, she is not pretty, she is not ugly, she did plastic surgery, all that shit. So we know more about these things and it's, it's bombarded to us. It's even when you're not looking for it, even in commercials or when you're walking in the street in billboards, um, it just promoted and it's sad that even parents stimulate this in their, their children that shows how those parents are not aware of what they're actually supporting themselves which shows the importance of education for everyone 
um, and then a change in policies that such things aren't allowed um, because children are children and do not try to force them into a sexualized image because it has so much impact on them. They say there's now a change that uh, little girls now don't want to be princesses anymore but more like the heroes like you can see in uh, the movie Frozen or the Hunger Games. So you see the impact of that media on the child and how they are going to form their identity. So there is a huge responsibility and an important reason why we should not just allow everything and anything just because it sells. And the last point I want to mention, the effect on boys is big. Uh, boys also, of course, are influenced by images of males and st stereotypes about how a male should be muscular or strong, dominant, don't cry, all that shit. And they also then get that image about women, which reflects how they will act towards women or what they expect their women to be and how their relationships will function. I have a good video about this as well from Mr. Repsio and I will put the link in the description so you can check it out. Bye!